all right good morning y'all good morning how you're doing how is your day going like good morning my neighbor how are you doing are you doing okay <laughs> all right good morning good morning all right just a quick one to quickly share with us all this morning all right so <laughs> yesterday afternoon hi would you me channel <laughs> somebody asked me you know why all right i'm not sure maybe a couple of weeks ago i was sharing about the fact that you know my son came home from school telling me that one of the girls from the school said to him that they should be boyfriend and girlfriend and i told him you know i remember saying to us all that you know i told him about the fact that they can't do that you know they can't do that you know it, it, it's it, they can't do that in school they are all friends in a friendship school so yesterday we were coming back from school we turned up at we turned up at a shop and so this same girl went to the shop with her home mother as well and that was how we met at the shop and they were greeting each other you know and all stuff like that so i picked whatever that i wanted to pick and i was at the self-service deal now self-service deal for people who don't understand that is that you are not at the team where you're being served you are the one doing the checkout for yourself so i was at the self-service deal and my heritage and Ezekiah were behind me and i was thinking okay so um you know what were they doing as soon as i looked back I saw this girl putting her hands all over Heritage like this. I was like, ah, what is this? So I said to Heritage, let's go. So we got out of the shop and I was thinking, maybe I should just leave it and let it go. I was like, no, I need to address it. Or just in your body, be by the I would like. The day that you see anything that is wrong, you trash it on that day there and then. So I calmed myself down and I waited for the mother of this girl. And I said to her that, please, can you help me to tell your daughter never to touch my son like that? Do you, could you imagine what the mother said? Hey, they are only a child because apparently they are six-year-olds. My son is a six-year-old. The girl is a six-year-old. And she goes, hey, um, they are only a child. I said, yes, I understand. But what I'm teaching my own children at home or my son at home is that they are all friends. They are all friends in the friendship school. Nothing like touching and touching. So please... Can you help me to tell your daughter? So the daughter had known. So she stood a bit far off, but she got closer. And I said to her that, listen, I am not angry with you. I am not angry with you in any form. All I am saying is, please, can you not touch my son like that again? You know, <laughs> like, you know, so I, we, we, we left the place and we're heading home. As soon as we got home, I asked my son, has she been touching you like that? He said, no. And I said, okay, I even remember that when you were in reception class you told me about the fact that somebody was asking you to do a boyfriend and girlfriend kind of thing who was the girl so my son was like it was that same girl i won't mention her name i'm tempted to do now but i won't mention her name for um future purposes or for somebody else who's going to watch this broadcast so i'm thinking so that same girl was the one all over you you know so i said to my son never let this girl touch you again as soon as she touches you the way that you just tell her to stop it and go and tell your teacher and make sure you tell me at home and that was how we closed that case yesterday this morning when we we're going to school i reminded him that nobody touches you anyhow you know so as soon as i got to school i went and spoke with the staff in charge of family life social services social life and you know students private life like that excuse me you know i told i told her everything told her the story and she said they're going to go to their class and you know reorientate them tell them about the fact that nobody's allowed to touch anybody just anyhow you know and that was how i ended that story early this morning and um, it was something that was in my heart because i think we parents we need to be very very careful and be watchful be prayerful at the same time that we're be, we're praying we need to also i mean you can imagine what do you expect from a lioness <laughs> my eyes were on fire like this is my seed i ain't let nobody um, corrupt my seed i ain't let nobody corrupt my seed you know because this is my posterity if i'm gonna if, if, if you're gonna know the kind of mother that i am you're gonna have to see them in my children 
you know i i don't let anybody just do anyhow to my children you know I'm, so i'm imploring all mothers you know especially single mothers single parents single um, fathers as well to arise get up and fight for this our children you know don't just let you know things lie like that you know i i was supposed to have even told them about the one that happened in 2012 but i was like okay i mean let's just allow things to happen until when that one happened yesterday and i had to go and speak to them in the school you know so it's important that we are watchful may the lord god bless us as parents in jesus name amen so i thought i was going to share that with you mothers you know let us be very careful let us be very watchful may the lord god bless us and help us to keep and preserve our children from the evil one that's one of the prayers that Jesus prayed for in John chapter 17. He said, I do not pray that you take them out of the world, but that you preserve them from the evil one. May the Lord preserve our children and our seed from the evil one from being corrupted in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Love you so dearly. Bye.